good morning to everyone and uh, here we are going to discuss today regarding the uh, today's lecture regarding the structure and the function of the lycopene so myself social Gharke, we are going to discussing today regarding the structure and the function of the lycopene so when you see uh, so in today's lecture we are going to be discussing regarding uh, three different points like we are, we are going to discuss first of all regarding the lycopene information it's the structure of the lycopene and the, it's the properties so when you see regarding the lycopene, it is one of the member of the carotenoid family uh, which are pigment responsible for red, orange and yellow colors in uh, many plants. And uh, this, uh, when you see, consider regarding this carotenoid, uh, it is uh, having a particular crucial role in case of photosynthesis in the in case of the plants as well as it is important for human health due to their antioxidant property. When you see regarding the mist tomatoes, grapefruit or watermelon, they are having the red color and that is because of this lycopene. And it has been estimated that almost 80% of the lycopene in the US diet comes from these tomatoes and the tomato products like tomato sauce, tomato paste and the ketchup. So when you see regarding this lycopene, it is a nothing but the natural red pigment synthesized by the plants and the microorganisms but not by animals and so the plant is only the source for, uh, uh, for this lycopene and when it is found in, uh, generally it is found in the case of the red fruits and the vegetables, particularly the tomato and it is, uh, miss, uh, it is one of over uh, 600 characters found in nature which function as pigment in photosynthesis and in photoprotection when you're going to be considered. So this lycopene has a major role in case of, uh, uh, miss, uh, it can be uh, as an antioxidant, it can be used as a photoprotection purposes when you're going to be considered. So, uh, so, uh, uh, <clears throat> so most of the carotene when you're going to be considered like alpha carotene, beta carotene or beta cryptoxanthin uh, in that they will be acting as a pro-vitamin uh, carotenoid or they can be used for the um, uh, precursor for the vitamin A but in case of this uh, lycopene it is not a pro-vitamin A uh, carotenoid and so because of that body cannot convert lycopene into the vitamin A when you're going to be considered. Uh, so as a humans, uh, when you're going to be considered, it is un uh, we could not be able to synthesize the carotenoids such as lycopene, and uh, so th they must be obtained from the dietary intake. So from the dietary intake, we uh, solely respond with uh, depend on this lycopene uh, when you're going to be considered. So uh, one group has estimated that processed tomato products such as uh, tomato ketchup, tomato paste and tomato juice are all the good sources of the lycopene and unlike some other nutrients like lycopene uh, is not lost through the cooking or the food processing. So that is one of the important property of the lycopene. It is not going to be lost through the cooking or the food processing. So uh, because it is not going to be uh, lost to the cooking or the food processing and so because of that uh, and because of the heat processing will increase their uh, viability and so, be, uh, so because of that tomato based products are better source than a raw tomato. So when you, uh, so, so studies have basically shown that the heat processing causes isomerization of the ingested uh, trans lycopene to the cis form and which may be responsible for the increased absorption. So this conversion from trans lycopene into the cis from uh, is going to be responsible for increased absorption and so because of that the processed foods are more uh, having um, uh, more uh, source for the lycopene when you're going to be considered. Uh, so here one example regarding this lycopene is nothing but the tomatoes and uh, lycopene is the one of the primary carotenoid found in the tomato fruit and, and it has a significant role into the cancer risk reduction when you're going to be considered. Uh, so in a study of more than 40, 47,000 men, those who consume tomato products uh, 10 or more times per week had less than one half the risk of developing the advanced prostate cancer. And so and, and uh, when you see the interesting uh, fact regarding this lycopene, it is also the most abundant carotenoid in the prostate gland. So, <clears throat> so this proposed mechanism by which lycopene could influence the cancer risks are uh, related to its antioxidant function and uh, lycopene is the most efficient quencher of singlet oxygen in the biological system uh, when you're going to be considered. Uh, so you can able to see here the, uh, uh, the different sources. So the tomatoes and the processed tomato products is one of the most uh, important source in case of the lycopene. Uh, there is potential benefits um, are also there like uh, it contribute to main, uh, maintenance of prostate health uh, when you're going to be considered. So it is uh, more important for the maintaining the prostate health when you're going to be considered. 
Now the next point that is we are going to consider here is nothing but the structure of the lycopene. So when you see here regarding the structure of the lycopene, it is a linear acyclic hydrocarbon carotenoid with a distinctive chemical structure. Uh, so you can able to see the formula that is C4DH56 uh, indicating that it consisting of 40 carbon atoms and 56 hydrogen atoms. So it is going to be containing 40 carbon atoms and the 56 hydrogen atoms. Uh, it is also unique and uh, it is having unique uh, a distinctive molecule structure and is characterized by the long chain of conjugated double bonds. So you can able to see here, uh, long chain of the conjugated double bonds are going to be there in th into the structure and uh, this long chain uh, double bond structure is responsible for the compound's vibrant red color and its ability to quench free radicals uh, making it potent antioxidants. So because uh, so because uh, so it is giving the red color as well as uh, it is uh, ability to quench free radicals because uh, making it a potent active antioxidant when you're going to be considered so now we are going to discuss regarding the different properties or the functions of the lycopene so there are different um, functions of the lycopene will be there like antioxidant properties are there health benefits are there skin health and also it can be used into the food industry as a colorant so first of all when you're going to be considered regarding this antioxidant properties lycopene is powerful antioxidant which means it helps to neutralize harmful free radicals in the body and this free radical can damage cells and contribute to various diseases including cancer and the cardiac diseases so by removing to or neutralizing this harmful free radical it is going to be helpful to us in regarding the cancer and different cardiac diseases when you're going to be considered secondly when you're going to be considered regarding the health benefits uh, uh, it is uh, uh, it is in having many health benefits like uh, it is potential protective effects against certain types of cancer, uh, particularly prostate cancer, and uh, lycopene is also associated with the promoting heart health and uh, reducing the risk of cardiovascular diseases uh, when you going to be considered. Uh, along with that, they have also the uh, skin health importance. Like uh, lycopene may have a protective effect on the skin, potentially offering some defense against the sun damage. So uh, this is another one uh, function of this lycopene when you're going to be considered. As well as uh, here, you can able to see in the food industry uh, beyond its uh, health benefits, lycopene is used in the food industry as a natural coloring agent. It's a vibrant uh, red color makes it popular choice for enhancing the visual appeal of various food products without the need for the synthetic additives when you're going to be considered. So there are the certain functions or uh, misproperties of the uh, uh, regarding this lycopene. Uh, when you see regarding the therapeutic a uh, areas, uh, we can use into the cardiovascular respiratory health, we can use into the cancer prevention because of its antioxidant properties and the daily recommended dose is nothing but 10 to 40 mg per day is the daily recommended uh, uh, dose when you're going to be considered. So there are my references. Thank you.